I look around me today and I see a lot of fear inside this market. Though with this fear brings much opportunity. Today, I am going to be focusing on the positives inside this market. Although there are very few when you look at the whole picture, we're seeing a lot of depression. We're seeing a lot of you know scared people, very fearful market right now, which I totally comprehend. We are truly seeing bad news. Exchanges going bankrupt, people losing all their money inside these exchanges. Trust me, I I truly comprehend and, and, and feel compassion and sorry for these people. It's an awful situation. I'm not going to dwell too much on the negatives here. I am going to focus on the positives. I'm going to focus on what I'm best at, and that is trading. That is the technical analysis. And even inside this bear market with so much fear, we are seeing volatility and we are seeing levels respected very well. Just once again, I'm going to show you here. I'm coming in here, trading this market daily using my technical analysis, putting my money always where my mouth is, and currently sat in from yesterday's trade, $95,000 unrealized profit, around just over $8,000 profit when we hit the CC. So I'm coming in here, trading my technical analysis. And as you can see, even within this massive fearful market right now, there is still money to be made if you block the news, if you block the emotions, and you trade the charts. The technical analysis here truly is well respected. And my trades and evidence that I've been presenting you with is, you know, enough, you know, enough words in that regards for now. The evidence is my <laughs> is my words. So I'm going to flip back over to the chart here. I'm going to be going over the levels that I'm looking at for the next four days, really. Obviously, today, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, I'm going to be going over my technical analysis here locally. Uh, what I'm looking at, the levels I'm trading and yeah, how even inside this market with so much emotions right now, so much fear, so much volatility, quick moves, but these quick moves are respecting the technical analysis perfectly. So let's go straight into what you're here for. And that is, you know, a clear, concise video covering the technicals, covering my trades. And I'm going to keep it as always very professional. That's what you're here for. And that's what I'm going to give you. So yeah, let's let's start off the video today. Um, where we're sh I'm going to start this video covering the past, you know, 12, 24 hours of price action, moving on to what's happening now and what I'm looking at next. OK, so real simply, I want to keep this one fairly quick in terms of the recap, because the volatility that we got now is is absolutely amazing. So we obviously had seen the I was um, we obviously put in a low down and around that 10th of November high, if you remember. From there, we changed our market structure, which if we just zoom in here, I'll just remind you very locally. At this moment in time, you're in a big downtrend. So at this moment, you're in a big downtrend. This lower daily level is an absolutely acceptable target. What actually ends up happening is we get this market structure change, right? So we've then formed a low, high, higher low, higher high, higher low, higher high. Okay, and then we have our resistance flipping into support. So we've now seen a market structure change. Okay, we saw the market structure change on a lower term time frame, a resistance into support flip, and on the back test here, also bullish divergences forming. Okay, upon seeing this information, you do have to react and acknowledge, okay, we can be seeing this move to the upside. Market structure change, bullish divergences forming, resistance flipping into support locally, and it did end with a little bit of a squeeze to the upside, bringing us up to this zone. And I just want to show you a few posts from what I saw here. I had a key daily uh, $17,150. That key daily got a really nice back test yesterday. Of course, as a trader on the lower term timeframes, these are acceptable long positions. We're not looking out for anything else other than the day trade here at the moment. But we can see a really important level, which I was alerting my team while we were trading back down at 16,500. I only had one level of resistance. That was 17,150. In the end, we obviously got through 17,150 and we went to around 17,800. But that level for me was still key on the back test. And exactly in the time as it's happening, I'm alerting my team there. There's no you know, no lag on this update. We've hit the important back test level. Okay, this is our long opportunity on the day. Okay, this is our big key support level. We get that back test, and during the coming few hours, we get a bounce, we get acceptance into this resistance support flip, all looking pretty good on the day, and then we go on to form this really nice triangle. Okay, so we got our back test, back test back test of my key daily level. We formed the triangle. We broke out the triangle. We back tested the triangle. 
we're looking for the next rise to the upside. Well, that rise to the upside came very fast indeed, along with the ES rising and the DXY dropping, which is obviously at the time bullish for Bitcoin. We got that rise to the upside, and this is where I started taking my short position here. As you can see, it's around $1.5 million. Okay, and this was uh, filled above 18,000 as we took the 18,000 liquidity, basically taking the high. As we then came back down, I've hit a take profit one off the CC, where I have then compounded on the next rise to the upside, which has brought down my average entry a little bit. But that entry, as you can see here, averaged around 17,860. This is just a day trade. Uh, it's not a swing trade. It's just a day trade that I got into yesterday, which... Um, you know, I've been playing for the next 24 hours or less than less than 24 hours now, really. OK, that has explained why this low was put in, why this high was put in, which, in my opinion, was the liquidity grab above the psychological $18,000 level. OK, that was then our short opportunity from, of course, why we got up to here. We formed that triangle. We broke out the triangle. We took the high along with the ES taking its key high. OK, so the ES took its key high. DXY continued to drop. Bitcoin obviously making that high. From there, we have just fallen to the downside, which really simply was here. As you can see, ES taking its high, as I was kind of expecting. And then Bitcoin dropped down into its local CC level. OK, so Bitcoin dropping into its CC level. Well, this is for me a decent take profit. That is where I realized this profit. OK, not a massive take profit, but still on the day, I'm guaranteed at least $8,000. It's not a bad day. <laughs> OK, but we come into that CC alerting my team. This is where we're at right now. And from there, we got an instant bounce. OK, so you see this on the lower term time frame. There's the bottom of that CC tested by the wick. You got an instant bounce of 5% to the upside. Pretty amazing if I say so myself. OK, so once again, you can see really big volatility. This is on the news of FTX filing for bankruptcy or uh, bi fi going following the same route eg a lot of bad news right but the bad news what happens it just comes into the cc we hit the cc we get an instant five percent bounce to the upside there's nobody in the world that can deny that this level was something that i was already and waiting for that this level then provided an instant five percent bounce amongst all the news amongst all the fear amongst all the you know external factors that are going on which i myself as a trader pay no attention to and do not care about i'm here for the technicals and i'm here proving to you that that's all you need to make money inside of this market right now and these are the real life evidence proof for you okay so that has explained the last 24 hours okay the rise the reason all that high was put in the reason this low is put in the reason this high was put in was because we back tested this previous range point of control by the way okay so that was the previous range point of control retest um and then from here um what am i looking for next well very locally so i'm going to be talking about the local lower term time frames we can be looking at the vwap okay so we can be looking at that vwap which is just over seventeen thousand dollars okay but the bigger levels of course we still have this cc as, as support currently but in my opinion there are bigger levels to be aware of the first one would be down at around $16,000, okay? So the psychological 16, just as $18,000 was the psychological grab up here, I got 16,000 as the psychological grab down here. I've got an alert set on my primary account and I'm, I'm, I'm aware of this level. And then of course below us, still aware of this 15,318 daily level, okay? This is a level where I can look for the failed auction or swing failure pattern. This for me would be a nice opportunity. It's a level that I'm definitely already and aware of. OK, and this is a zone. Please remember this. This is obviously our, our zone. It's not an exact dollar, but we got this bit of a zone down to around 15K um, where we can look for our failed auction or our swing fire pan. OK, so we got two key levels, in my opinion, to the downside there. Again, if we lose one level, then we just look down for our next level. If we lose this, we look down to our next level above us. We got the VWAP. Again, I'm going to not be forgetting this level because the CC right now is just fire. Above us, the top of that CC is 17,500. Okay, so then I got two local levels above me. I got two local levels below me. I'm currently just going to be monitoring onto this short position. Again, I'm happy to take longs, but I'm obviously taking longs on the tether pair because I'm in a short position on this BTC pair. Um, I'm happy to sculpt longs in this market. I, I really am. I very much happy to sculpt a long just as I'm happy to sculpt a short. Myself as a trader, all I want to know is the next highest probability trade. 
I want to know where's the next best trading setup. I want to know where's the next strongest levels. And then I'll come in there, I'll make an informed decision and I'll take my trade. I'm not hesitating on these trades. I'm not fearful in this market. And I do definitely understand right now a lot of people are upset. A lot of people are losing money. A lot of people you know, are, are confused about what's going on right now. And, and that's my aim of these videos, to remove that confusion, remove that fear, show you that if you block out, I know it's hard, I know it's difficult, I, I truly, truly know that. But if you do try your hardest to follow along with what I'm teaching, then the technicals are well respected in this market. Each of the highs and lows are based off of technical levels. There's, there's no way in the world anyone can deny that during the whole bit of FUD that we've just seen, we hit that CC and bounced an instant 5% to retest that all important 17,150 daily level. It's like the levels are respected, okay? There is money to be made on this market. It is volatile. It's not for the weak hearted, so to speak, but it is possible um, to, to extract money from this market. And I'm, I'm showing you the way that it's, it's possible and, and able to be done, right? Uh, so there's a few things that I'd like to just touch upon before I end this video. And, and we're going to, I'll, I'll keep on running this video and we'll see if we get this move up to the VWAP here locally, by the way. Um, that's what I'm looking for next. So we can monitor that together uh, just over the next few minutes while I just talk about something. And it is going to be talking about FTX because that's, that's the big discussion right now in the market. That's arguably why we're getting a lot of volatility because of FTX going offline and becoming bankrupt. Um, and it's just showing you things like this. Okay. As an experienced trader, I could see the signs FTX were not to be trusted when I recognized their, tr their, their wash trading last year. Okay, I'm just referring you to a few posts here. Okay, FTX are known for wash trading, e.g. faking volume. This is something that I've done for my own research and was able to recognize the wash trading. This isn't hit for me to say, hey, look at me, I was right. Because obviously that would be, a, a, you know, I'm not here to do that. I'm just here to show you the signs were here and I actually received a lot of hate personally for bringing attention to such things. I even had people accusing me of, hey Daniel, you're only bad mouthing FTX because you want to promote Bybit. And this is not, I haven't, I do not get paid by Bybit, Bybit. You know, I have no contracts with Bybit. I, I trade on Bybit because of these factors best order flow, best uptime, least problems, in my opinion, a good team. At the end of the day, you have to do your own research. I'm not tied to them. I'm not I'm not saying use them. I'm just saying, hey, this is where I trade. You can do whatever you want. But I received so much hate last year for um, warning people of FTX and, and saying, hey, I use Bybit. And, you know, I received a lot of backlash about that, by the way. You know, a lot of conspiracy theories were um, made about me because I was bad by Bybit, right? And it's just to say, hey, it's by FTX are now FTX have now gone bankrupt right they, they've stolen people's funds um there are signs you can see this when you start to see wash trading when you start to see money coming off exchanges when you realize the way that they've been coming up through the ranks so quickly it's just just something to pay attention to and that's not to say anything other than you know really in this market, you do have to take care. At the end of the day, crypto is the wild west, right? Crypto is, is the wild west. And, you know, you get people promoting things left, right, and center. Uh, it's like someone said the other day, you probably get offers from Bidget. Uh, we get offers from every single exchange you can imagine. Bidget, Binance, Bybit, even exchanges, everything you can imagine. We get we get offers from everybody. It's like I said here, we get hundreds of offers every day from people, companies trying to promote their products and services for very large payoffs. E.g., they're offering us very large sums of monies to say, hey, promote us. Like Bidget will say, hey, here is, I'm not going to give X amounts, but here's this amount of money. <laughs> this is a lot of money. All you need to do is promote us. Um, you know, we, we could, if we were like that, accept and promote these random exchanges that you've never heard of for the payoffs. But I hold myself to these high standards. I, I am not in this for the money. I mean, you can hopefully comprehend Chart Champions itself is not in this for the money, right? I'm not in this for the money. I, I make enough money trading. I do not need to be doing these videos for the money. I do not need to run Chart Champions service for the money. No, I'm, I'm, I'm out here making, you know, over $100,000 daily from trading. I do this because I truly want to help 
And I do think that you can hopefully see that. And when it comes to like these offers from from these exchanges, from these products, you know, you've never seen us promoting a, a, a bad product because it's never, ever happened. Right. And it will never happen because I do only, you know, talk about things that I, I actually use. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to briefly talk about that because it is something that is a big problem inside this space, right? A lot of people promote things just because they're getting paid to promote it. Um, and I think that is, is, is worrying. Um, and it just does highlight some of the big problems in, inside of the space in general. And I, and I guess it's not really the space, but you could also argue that it's the people within inside the space that cannot be trusted. A lot of people are in this for their own self benefit. They will use their followers, uh, for their own benefit. And in my opinion, that is just truly wrong. If you have a follower, it's because you're doing something right, right? <laughs> People are following you because you know what you're all about. They feel that you can be trusted. And then to use that trust against them is just something that I find absolutely disgusting. Um, yeah, and I could again talk about that for a long time, but I'm, I'm not going to bore you with my, my personal insights on that in this video. <laughs> uh, this video was for the uh, training uh, update the levels that I'm looking at next, how even in terms of all of this volatility, all of this bad news, so to speak, the levels are still being respected. There is still money to be made in this market. There are still trades to be taken. I've given you my next two levels to the upside, my next two levels to the downside. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a level to level market right now. Mark out your levels, look at the reaction, execute the trade. Okay. Again, I'm going to give a little bit of a preview wrap up and then i'll give my final words on bitcoin if you do want to educate yourself along with us then of course you can do that via our website chartchampions.com here we've got all of the educational content we've got the educational content so you can learn that's inside of our courses speed runs we released a new speed run module today by the way which is off of the tpo series this is our new speed run uh, so we're very happy about that we're working extremely hard in the background you don't see this but we are doing a lot of hard work in the background on our courses on our speed runs on our templates wow we're currently updating new templates we've got our live event in london which is coming at the end of the 22 that's being sold out you know things for chart champions are going very well right now that's that, that event's going to be awesome by the way this is a uh in trading event that we have london all of it's sold out by the way so there's no tickets left but yeah we got we got a lot of people coming over flying over from all across the world to see us in person uh it's going to be great uh we're looking forward to all of that um but yeah if you want to learn from us you've got chartchampions.com for the courses for the education and then you get the little trading updates like this inside the day inside of the discord too right so all of the information all of the education all of the trading updates all of the community that's inside the Discord, you can get that from chartchampions.com. Um, final words to wrap up. Of course, uh, I will say if you are looking for a new exchange, this is not to push this in your face, but if you are looking for a new exchange, if you do want to try something different, then of course I do have the affiliate with Bybit. This is just from my personal use. So I can say this to you. If you are interested in that, you can sign up to buy bit under our chart champions affiliate link uh, which i'll leave in the description and there is up to a free thirty thousand dollars bonus right now so if this is of interest to you and you want to give it a go again do your own research you can do whatever you want at the end of the day but this is a bonus that you can take advantage of if you want to join via the chart champions team um, i'll leave that in the description down below and if you want some more information, you can join the Discord and ask us about this. We're more than willing to help. But yeah, this is just a reminder that if you want to take advantage of the deposit bonus up to a free $30,000, that's available via the Chart Champions affiliate link. So you can make your own decisions on that. I'm not trying to push you or make you forced into a decision. Do your own research. But if you are interested in that, then that can also be taken advantage of uh, via signing up via via that link i'll leave it in the description and it's also obviously on our, on our over on our twitter uh so final words here on bitcoin remove the emotions trade the charts there is money to be made when you do that and you know we're showing you that evidence every single day i hope you've enjoyed this video i truly hope it's been of assistance i hope that it's helped you and i am here i'm not going away i'm more active than ever if you're inside of the members group you can see i'm more active than ever right now I'm giving all of my time and energy to chart champions into the trading space right now. And, um, you know, if I can save just one person today, then, hey, that's a mission complete. So I hope that I've been able to assist you. If you want to see more from me, you know where to catch it. And that's over at 
chartchampions.com. Um, oh yeah, I even done a video 17 hours ago covering altcoins, by the way. But yeah, I'm just going to wrap this up. That's it from me. I'll catch you in the next video. Thank you ever so much. Have a brilliant weekend, week ahead, and CC Paul, send their love today. I send their love. I know a lot of people are hurting. I know a lot of people are, you know, yeah, you're feeling the pain of the market. So I apologize, or I don't apologize. I guess it's the wrong word. I, I do feel that pain. I do understand where you're coming from. And if you want to try and get on the right path today, then hey, we're more than happy to try and, you know, show you what's gone wrong in the past, help you learn from your mistakes, and show you what's possible with a bright future ahead. And we're happy to help you that, myself and the team over at Chart Champions. Thank you ever so much, everybody. Have a brilliant week ahead. And thank you ever so much. Cheers and goodbye. And of course, I'll end with the legal disclaimer. No financial advice in this video. Just an entertainment educational video only. All trades on paper demo trade accounts. And we're not forcefully trying to push you into anything. Cheers, everybody. Thank you and goodbye.